Good morning. I, my wake up call was the first tweets of Cornelius. Tweet? I, I, I was already woken up. I used the bathroom, brushed my teeth, then I was getting dressed and I heard tweet. I'm like, I'm going downstairs. Yeah. So that was a very welcomed sound. Oh, he's trying to do it. This is amazing. <laughs> he was really quiet. <laughs> and then he's like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> We are taking a walk. And Gabriel and Ethan are right. Oh, sorry. I'm hitting my mom on her hand. Sorry. Um, they're taking a bike ride with us. He's way up there. Gabriel's ahead of us. He's the scout. Yeah. <laughs> so... It is a beautiful day. There's like no clouds and it's not hot and it's not cold and it's yeah, pleasant, it's very pleasant. Day. And now there's a dog that has followed Ethan. So we're trying to get the dog to go back home. It's a very cute dog. Is he pretty good? You just got a bath. Pretty good. You just got a bath. Pretty good. The couch arrived. I know it's dark down here, but uh, we have a big couch that all of us will fit on and we can watch, we can watch family movies all together down in the basement if we want to. And it's so quiet down here. I was telling mom, ooh, this might be where we have to come and do our, um, like our voiceover stuff because the couch really sucked up a lot of the, any echoes. There's like no echo or anything down here. So, very exciting. Um, the other thing that has been going on, um, <laughs> we got a quick turn um, audition for Gabriel. Um, Gabriel is the man of the hour. He has, he's in demand. And so, and we actually had a, moment of serious talking with him because he he said he doesn't want to um he wants to take a break basically he wants to take a break for like two weeks and we're respecting that because we don't want him to like feel I don't know yeah we just want to respect that and so um he knows that he might get booked for something that he's already auditioned for, and he's fine with that. He just said, I just don't want to audition for anything for two weeks. <laughs> I want to have a break from auditions. And I said, okay. So I sent that email, and hopefully that will be good. Um, I just, yeah, did you hear what I just said? Yeah. I, I sent an email and said, Gabriel would like a two-week break from auditions. Okay. So he is taking a break. And I think it'll be healthy for him yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he was just like, please, I just don't want to do any more auditions right now. We and, could have been going strong. And he never, I mean, I booked them out when we were gone, but they, they, still, they still did it. They still did. They performed in a show and they did auditions and they got the commercial they and they did a costume fitting. Like all of that was happening and it was just like insane. And so I think that he's like, okay. I just want a break. <laughs> and that is totally fine. Mm -hmm. We have thing one in the back seat. 
<laughs> and we're heading to his Cinderella rehearsal. Um, this week is going to be dedicated to choreography. So um, he, he has actually never been to a choreography rehearsal yet for this show because of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He has watched the videos, but um, they weren't necessarily taken from a good angle, so <laughs> he's like, uh, I sort of learned it, <laughs> so kind of, sort of, so we'll figure out. I'll get frustrated. It, just yeah, it. it'll be okay. It'll be okay, Julian. <laughs> We just went on a hot date. Right, honey? Yes, we got liquor. <laughs> it's a hot date. We are not like- It's an adult date. Liquor connoisseurs or anything, but um, my favorite wine from the Oliver Winery in Bloomington, Indiana was on sale. Like pretty significantly on sale. And so I got four bottles to put above my in my wine rack so I'm pretty excited about that I'm sitting here in uh, a new new to me <laughs> chair I'm quite excited that I have this up in my room now I can have a little place for my quiet time for my me time when I'm not wanting to be laying in bed yet or you know right now. Um, so, um, it was an interesting rehearsal for Julian and he, he kind of felt like he didn't need to be there because it's kind of sad really. The, the people who had missed practices like him and he, he wasn't the only one because there are a bunch of kids that have been in other shows um, and like finishing up other shows while this one was starting. And so he's watched the videos and, but the people who hadn't been at rehearsal were told to, to watch. Um, so he was there and he didn't get to, do anything so he wasn't very happy about that <laughs> and I'm not either and me being who I am I'm going to bring it to the director's attention I'm I'm not gonna like uh, be mean I'm not I'm not gonna be mad I'm not gonna be you know but as as a you know a director myself like I would want to know um, what's happening at rehearsal, like the director and music director are absent this week and it's only the choreographer that is in charge this week. And so, um, who usually she's like got everything together. Um, but it sounded, I had fun hanging out with Horatio, but like I could have not driven all the way over there if I knew that my kid wasn't going to rehearse at all. Um, I could have, we could have just gone over the choreography at home. Um, so I don't know. That's my, my short little rant of the evening. <laughs> But I know this is my last clip, um, and then I have to get people ready for bed. Um, the other thing that has now come up, uh, the Lyric Opera of Chicago um, is now, I guess as of today, they have let go all of their, the children that were gonna be in their first production of the season that are not vaccinated. Um, and so now they're scrambling to, to cast some people. So <sighs> Julian is definitely too big to be considered a child, but Ethan is sort of on that like cusp of, 
he may be too tall, he may be, you know, on the edge. But, uh, so, we are now going to be going to the city in a couple of days so that Ethan can audition at the Lyric Opera. This will be his second time auditioning at the Lyric Opera. So, the first one, first time he was dead boy. So, um, this one will be a little more interesting. <laughs> He'll actually get to, you know, do something. So, um, it's been a, a good day and, um, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling content about, um, Gabriel and what I was talking about earlier. I think that, I think that this can all become a lot. Um, I mean, I know it does for me. So I can't imagine, I mean, he just plows through and does things like the audition that came in, he did it within 15 minutes and it was three scenes. Like the kid can do things like that. And, but I know that it probably can be a lot. So, <laughs> so I think a break is definitely going to be good for him. Um, just even if it's just a few weeks of, you know, just no auditions for a few weeks and to regroup a little bit. So anyway, I have rambled long enough. So until tomorrow.